I think Jackie and Bert would be proud of us, maybe even Junior out there too. I believe it. Diablo Samson, Dr. Pepper the Goat. Here we go. Diablo sandwich of Dr. Pepper. Make it fast. I'm gonna murder. How many times have you seen this movie? A uh, hundred times. hundred times. <laughs> you know, Heath is really probably the self proclaimed aficionado of what? Smoking, Smoking the band. I yes. probably go that far. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, there is a scene in this movie that really jumped out to me when Burt Reynolds is in the old Hickory Cafe, you know, mm -hmm. already sitting in there. Who comes in the door? Buford T. Justice. What does he order when he sits down there when Jackie Gleason comes in? A Diablo and a Dr. Pepper. There we go. Let me have a Diablo sandwich of Dr. Pepper. Make it fast. I'm gonna damn hurry. <laughs> you want a sandwich? Uh. <laughs> got no time for that. <laughs> All right. She gives him the sandwich, okay? Uh huh. So. Now, when he picks it up, takes it, it ain't very big. No, you know it's not I mean? very big. But it, you can see it looks like loose meat mm -hmm. on it, like it's a shredded pork or shredded brisket. See it running out the sides of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, see, he, got, he got heartburn. <laughs> but with the name Diablo, mm -hmm. don't you figure it's got some heat it's got in it? Some heat too. I, I think it is. Especially when he goes, yeah, he done got, got, that, got that heartburn. Shredded chicken, shredded pork, shredded brisket, one of them, mm -hmm. you know. It's gotta be juicy, but it's gotta be hot. Yeah. So we're gonna construct our own Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. After hours and hours of deliberation and Shan getting tired of watching the Smokey and Bandit 27 times, me and Heath have decided that what? we would go with the Diablo sandwich that we're gonna recreate, brisket. Now you could use pulled pork or you could even shred chicken for this. And we've got a lot of brisket videos that you could go back and watch, but first off, you're gonna to have to trim that brisket. Don't take all that fat off of it, no. And when you put it in a full pan and you're saying, why a full pan? Because we wanna reserve all that broth and all them juices with it because we want this to fall apart as it goes. So put it in that full pan, you got it seasoned really well, Seal it up with aluminum foil, let it cook about 10, 11 hours, and then pull that foil off of it, let it get some smoke in there. For the brisket, I really recommend that you use cherry wood, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of oak to it right there at the last so it can get an oak and cherry mixture of smoke. The cherry wood will give you such a great bark, and I wanna thank the folks at Smoky Woods for getting us that good cherry wood. It is the best stuff I ever cooked with. Now. When this brisket is done, that pan is gonna be nearly plumb full of broth that is rendered down out of that fat. Save that stuff. I always just take mine, pour it in a plastic pitcher or something after it's cooled because not only do we need some of that back in this brisket, but it is so good for soup stock, something like that. You can use this stuff in so many ways. Put it in some beans, whoo, it is so good. Now, I got about a pound and a half to two pounds of brisket left over that we hadn't eat plum up, and I'd put a little barbecue sauce with it already originally, but we went back and added some more of our mud to it. Now, you look back in that video, as old Jackie Gleason, or Sheriff Buford T there, is eating that sandwich, you can see him go, mm, heartburn. So you know it's got some heat to it. With a name like Diablo Sandwich, you know it's got heat. Now, I think maybe so they had some old hot sauce that they just put in there with it or something, but folks, if you want to stir up some heat just a little bit and get some really good smoky flavor, this is where we're going. Some of this adobo sauce. Now, I don't want a whole lot out of there, and I'd say that's probably pretty close to about three tablespoons. And just get you a little taste here. We want to see if it's got enough bite to it. Ooh. Did that help? Yes. Oh my gosh. You know in the movie, Shan, they had a big old basset hound that went with them. Yeah. We don't have a basset, but we got a schnauzer, <laughs> and he got a lot of fur on him. Now, when you put all this back together, I really think that we should put it back on that smoker over the Hasty Bake, and just let them flavors heat up and blend all together. So we're gonna put it back. Now, we're cooking indirect over there. All the fire is on that side. We got the other on this. And what smoke are you using? We're using sure. cherry and oak today. 
You know, at this point in time in making and recreating this sandwich, I am going to take the liberty to go way out on a Cowboy Kent Rollins limb I am. You didn't see it in there. In the movie, you didn't. But what? Hot links. I think that's what this sandwich really needs because it's called Diablo. Diablo to me means like, whew, I'm going to kick your butt with some heat. You can use any hot link you want for this, but I really like these potters. We're going to put them over on the smoker for about 20, 30 minutes. Let them get a smoke bath and warm up, and then we're going to recreate and put together this sandwich. And Jackie Gleason might even show back up today because John Wayne's just right up there. Huey wanting a bite, too. Well, them hot links have been on about 25 minutes and you can see they split here. They are good and tender. We're gonna move them right up here. They really don't need no more cooking. Uh, our brisket has warmed up with the sauce and the adobo sauce. We need to butter them buns and toast them because in that video, when I was watching it, their Jackie Gleason sandwich sort of fell apart. So I think if we was to butter them and toast them, It'd give them a little more resiliency. Maybe they wouldn't fall apart. What do you think, Mage? This has got a childproof label on it. My hands is cold. I like these Mrs. Birds that are really big and they got them sesame seeds on there. I have warmed me up a little butter. I have. We just gonna give them a little brushing right here. We're gonna get these all toasted up and then it is time to put the Diablo sandwich together. Well, before we go any further and we have got everything ready assembled to go. Now, when you get a hot link done, and I guess you could place them on the sandwich just like this and then cover it up with meat, but it's going to be really too big. So I'd thought about slicing them this way, really thin, like a piece of bacon. And then Shan said, maybe we ought to well, slice them the other way to work like think, rounds. I think if so, you did them like in rounds and place them on top. So we're going to slice them you could, pretty thin. And uh, you can see that red hot link. It's got some really good color to it. And folks, these things is spicy hot. So, Shannon, have you ever had a hot link? I haven't. Well, it's pretty cold out here, right? I want you to go ahead and try this bite for the people. Uh, it's got a little spice to it. I think you're going to like it. And, you know, like I say, this wasn't in the movie, but I'm thinking with a Diablo, you've got to have it. And you can put on it's there. Got a little kick to it. Yeah, as much as you want, or as little as you want. But when you slice them round like this, you're going to be able to bite them a whole lot easier, and it not pull off the sandwich. So this right here is going to be the top off ingredient of our Diablo sandwich. <laughs> I have brought the expert of the movie back here. And let me tell you what, I, I went ahead and went with the brisket and then some good Potter's hot links, put our spicy green chili mustard on there and some purple onion. I, I think it's gonna have some Tums or Rolades <laughs> after a while I do, but you can see it's a whole oh. lot bigger than the sandwich that Jackie Gleason had right there. That's a whole you know? lot bigger. Yes, so I'm thinking we might all just go ahead and have a bite. Let me, oh. let me get some of these. Because I think we're going to need them. Okay? I bet we're going to need them. Yeah. 
Let's see what's happening. Got me some of that hot link right there on that side. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I like it right there. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm you know, the brisket, I went back and put some more adobo sauce with it, some of mm -hmm. our barbecue sauce, to give it a little more heat on its own. Got a little heat. And when you get it to the back of your tongue, you think it ain't bad, and then as it settles, uh, that hot leaf starting to come. Yeah, gets in there. But I like to crunch the purple onion, get in there too. And you use that mustard. Uh huh. That's mustard's really good. Oh it? yeah. Oh my gosh, that's getting hot too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. oh, this cold, but make you want that heat get in there, make you want to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. shove it, child. Mm -hmm. You gotta drive a car. Well, we hope y'all enjoyed this, because me and he sure did. We got to watch the movie 28 more times. Shan wasn't too big a favor of it, but it was good. Uh, so easy to put together. Hope y'all enjoy it. But it is with honor, great pride, and privilege that we tip our hat to all the servicemen and women and all the veterans that have kept that old flag of flying, no matter where they're at. Rest of you, get on in here close. Come on in here real close, because we're going to give you a Diablo hug. God bless you each and every one, and we'll see you down the Smoky and Bandit Trail. I can't believe I don't remember all of it. I bet we watched that dang thing oh, we did a too. hundred times. She said the best movie she ever seen. We didn't, we didn't have nothing to watch in Japan, so we watched a lot of these just over and over and over. Can't remember what the dog's name was either. Flash? Uh, Fred. Fred. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. You're usually not this nice just because he's here. Don't Don't worry. Worry. I have to blow my nose. Watch the start film and I'm, I'm gonna say what needs to be said around this joint. <laughs> <laughs>